All right, you guys, welcome back. All right, Schofield Welding. This is kind of exciting. I'm super excited about this. Now, this is my brother, Jed. Jed Schofield, all right? He is a contract welder, a rig welder that is the structural hand slash pipe welder for the company that we work for, all right? He takes care of most of the support systems. Anything that needs supported, Jed takes care of it. Now, in this episode, he's gonna show you guys different things that he does to put in 7018 uh, fillet welds. Um, he goes in with some 6010, 5P plus for big gaps and things like that. But I'm gonna let Jed go ahead, take over this, and we hope you guys enjoy. Make sure that you subscribe. Weld Tube, South Coast Welding, and Schofield Welding. Hit the notification button so that anytime a video is uploaded, you guys are notified about it, all right? So anyways, Jed, take it over, all right? All right. Real quick before I start welding, there's one tip that my older brother Jake Schofield taught me. And he says if you ever put a root pass in on these structural welds, whatever's underneath the LH is what the top of the LH is going to look like. So take your time when you put a root pass in and make sure it looks nice because that's how the LH is going to turn out on top. We like to wrap around these corners so make sure that you start yourself right up here around this corner and you work yourself around it. Now one thing, because you put an extra pass on this, you put that root pass in, you can move a little quicker than if you didn't have that in there. I'll show you without a root pass just how much slower you do need to move. Pay attention, make sure you keep a nice tight arc in there. That'll help reduce a lot of those BBs as well. Perfect, and then just wrap around that corner just before you stop. Make sure when you're chipping these things off, you keep your eyes protected. This stuff likes to go straight for the eyes. So one thing you're gonna notice, now after this is all said and done, you're gonna wanna run a buffer across and make it look really nice before the boss walks up and sees it. But what you're gonna notice is that when you make this pass with a root underneath, you're gonna notice it kind of bubbles a little bit more. Um, when we do it without the root, you'll notice it's a little flatter. For this portion of the support, what you're going to want to do is make sure that you have a fresh rod. What we're going to do is we're going to do this inside piece right down here. And uh, if you have kind of a stubby, it gets kind of difficult when you're trying to fit this whole thing inside that small area. So get yourself a fresh rod when you run this inside section right here. Again, the main things is just make sure we stay tight and we take our time. You can run just a little bit faster with this root pass being in there, but not too much faster. Quick. Now you'll notice right here on the inside that we have hardly any little BBs. Maybe a couple that came out here, one right there, but there's hardly any. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I weld from the outside in, just so you can see that there's not very many BBs, and then I'll show you from the inside out, and you'll see how many more BBs we get because of that. And remember, since we've gotta catch this outside, we start out here and we'll wrap ourselves around and come to the inside. Now if you look at the inside right here, might have gotten a couple more BBs. One right there, a couple just sitting around, but not too many. Okay, so we're gonna start from the inside. Now, as you can see, we've got quite a few more of these BBs because we started from the inside and worked our way out. That has to do with not only the angle that we're working with, um, but it also has to do with the fact that you can't really see everything that's going on with your, uh, your puddle on the inside there. So the tip of the day, start from the outside and work your way in. Awesome, now we're gonna move on to what it looks like without a root being underneath this. We're gonna start over here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to run an LH pass without a root. One thing I definitely recommend that if you end up deciding to do this, definitely tack down your piece in the corners 
to make sure it's not going to move when you start striking off with your LH. LH can sometimes be a pain in the butt to strike off. Now when it comes to this pass, take your time across this. If you've got to use more than one rod to finish it, that's okay. Try and stay nice and tight. And just take your time. Wrap around that last edge. Make sure we get that corner. So you'll notice with this pass, like I had said, it's not quite as bowed as the other one, just because there's not a root pass in it. It tends to lay a little flatter against the metal and really fills in that corner right there. Awesome, so what we just got through doing is we just got through showing everybody how I weld on my structural supports. The last thing I would add is the one thing you guys didn't get to see me do is prepare my pieces. And so let's get cheesy here for a second, but you know the old Abraham Lincoln saying that if you gave me nine minutes to chop down a tree, I'd spend the first seven sharpening my ax. That's what I would recommend for anybody who's in this line of work. Make sure you spend that first time getting straight cuts, make sure everything's all square, and it goes together a lot easier. Oh, I think so, 100%. So guys, just like he was saying, this all comes with preparation. Everything you're gonna do in this is all preparation. So with the root pass being 6010, just make sure that it's all in your procedures. Just always follow your procedures. But you guys, hope you enjoyed. Be blessed. Make sure you subscribe to Schofield Welding, Weld Tube, South Coast Welding Academy. Make sure you hit the notification bell down in the corner. You guys will be the first ones to get the videos as soon as they're uploaded. So anyways, you guys, everybody be blessed. Have a great rest of your night. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yep, we'll see you later. See ya.